I saw a parent of a college student who had been struggling most of her life in school, um, but by the time she got to college, it had become really bad and she was starting to fail classes. So I prescribed her medication. Her mother came to talk to me because she didn't believe her daughter needed to take medication to do well in school. She felt like she just needs to buckle down and get it together. Furthermore, she felt like this was something that we only see in America and they don't, she doesn't have, they don't, there's no such thing as ADD in her country. Well, my response was your daughter has a problem and you can either let her get treatment and thrive or let her fail because you don't believe that this is something real and it's only for Americans. So her daughter took the prescription. She didn't immediately start taking the medication though because she didn't have the support at home. She didn't feel good about taking it when her parents really weren't behind her on that. But after enough Fs, she finally started taking the medication and she told me that after she started taking it, it was like someone just turned on the lights. A uh, completely different learning experience. So finally, she was able to attend long enough to take in the information, process it, and then retrieve it later when she needed it. And that's what a normal thought process is. But when someone has ADD, there's interruptions in that train of thought that make it hard for them to process information the way they're supposed to. I use this illustration because I think this is unfortunately the sentiment of many people. I think it's even more apparent when the main manifestation of ADD is hyperactivity. It's very easy to just look at that as a child without home training. 